Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. This is on camera. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about, oh yes, voters. Yeah, it seems like states ran by the Democrats have decided to make an in run around the immigration problem by um, allowing illegal aliens to serve on courts in the United States. And some of you are going, so why is that important? First of all, I don't think an illegal alien should be serving in the courts anyway, on a jury. Here's the problem. Oh, actually, is the problem that they don't have enough people for the juries? No, the, the, here's, a, here's a side thing. It basically, they, okay, states, when they hold, when they put jury together, do it off the voter, off the, the, um, voter, the voter registration. registration. Which means, to do it off of voter registration, you're registered to vote. That's right. And you can't register to vote unless you're a citizen of the country. So there are four states like Nevada, California, New York, and others that are ran by the Democrats are planning to end run the, uh, the United States government and legalize all of the illegal aliens on their own, which they can't do. Mm. I mean, I, uh, I heard a person last night talking about, he said, uh, well, and she's a criminal defense attorney, and she said that uh, you put an illegal alien on the voter rolls, put that person on a jury, and I, and if the vote, you know, I'm going to protest because, uh, and then if my client gets convicted, I'm going to ask that it be thrown out. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, what are you going to do if you, um, if your client wins? And they said, then the prosecution is going to ask mm -hmm. it be thrown out. He said, what you're doing, we've got a cluttered up judicial system to begin with. You've got to clutter it up more. Oh, God, because they're both sides are going to demand that the, there was a mistrial because you cannot declare, uh, a state has no right to declare a person a citizen. Mm -hmm. They can't do it. It's a federal thing. It's not a state job. So it, it well, just, and then the other part is if they're declared a citizen, right, then shouldn't they be entitled to other things that a citizen obtains? Oh, yeah. They've got it. What happens is, they're going to have all of the rights that a citizen has and not be citizens. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a neat how Which they actually, do it? they don't do that in any other country in the world. No country in the world. You will not, you're not allowed, okay, I used to make, um, used to do westerns, and when I would play a cowboy, which I did sometimes, they would hold the, I did like an episode of Maverick, where they decided to make Jack Kelly, have him run for sheriff. And he said, I don't live here. And I said, well, don't worry about that because we actually don't want you to be sheriff. We know that when you win, they're gonna, the other side is going to throw it out. We just need somebody to fill in until somebody else comes. That's a Western done in 1960 saying, well, we know you can't actually serve as sheriff because you don't live here. Mm -hmm. And you're not a citizen. You're a placeholder. It's a placeholder. But what's happening now is that... Uh, and they tie it up in time. Yeah. And the Democrats are preparing, you know, you basically... You take a bad situation and make it worse because um, they're not going to honor, another state is not going to honor a driver's license issued in a state that basically takes it upon themselves to make people quasi-citizens. Mm -hmm. So say you're, uh, you take your go from California or Nevada into Texas, ooh, guess what happens when they see you're that license plate on you and you're Latino? Mm -hmm. They're going to pull you over, and they have just cause because you're driving illegally in their state. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, dude, that's, that's going out targeting a minority. No, that's targeting somebody that basically is driving illegally in their state. How do you know? You do nothing more than but run the license tag. Mm -hmm. And then you'll find out. You get to go really quick from the Department of Motor Vehicle in California and Nevada. Mm -mm. Oh, that person is not legal in the state of Texas, so that's called computers. So guess what it also does? More legal problems. <laughs> Lots of legal problems because they'll say you're targeting us. No, we're targeting uh, we're targeting targeting a person that has no legal right to drive in our state because our state does not permit people that are not citizens to, to drive automobiles. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, here's the trick is your driver's license says California. It does not say Nevada. It does not say New York. It says California. You are allowed to drive in the state simply because they allow you to drive in it. They don't have to allow you to drive in their state, folks. Mm -hmm. That's the way it works. But so if states have history of doing this, guess what's going to happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to basically stop transit from... Uh, it's just okay. Um, I grew up 
when, when there was a big battle between Texas and Florida, which is why you have stations coming from, the, from Texas and those states in, and Arizona into California and agricultural inspection stations. It was done nothing more, did nothing more than harass Texas, Arizona, and Florida. If you had those tags, basically, you could almost expect you're going to get checked. Mm -hmm. And basically, what's going to happen is the states are going to simply reinstigate their uh, board, you know, uh, agricultural stations to have a license uh, station. They're going to say, uh, uh, "No hable inglés, mm -hmm. uh, no hable inglés." And they said, uh, how, do you have, how do you have a driver's license? You can't even speak English. You know, and they'll simply say, well, your insurance coverage is no good in our state either because you, do, you're not, you have no legal right to be driving, therefore you, you're driving uh, uninsured in our state. It's going to be a legal problem. See, here's the thing is, uh, the Democratic Party has always leaped before they look. And it's always with the Democrats the, the law of unintended consequences. They have, well, the President of the United States is never going to get anything done for the illegals, and the Republicans are not going to do anything, so we're going to run an in run around them and violate the Constitution. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Oh, boy. Well, and this is just the beginning of it. Oh, it's just the beginning. There's three democratically controlled states. There's 11 of them in total. I don't, and, do you really think they're really going to get that through? Well, well, yeah, every one of the states has passed. California just passed it yesterday. Oh, and every God. state in the United States that is, has a Democratic governor and uh, or a Democratic legislature is going to pass the legislation to end run Congress and the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to work because, like I said, I mean, the woman, she said, I make my living defending criminals. And this has got to be the easiest thing. You put one person on that jury that is not, that basically here where you are not allowed to serve on a jury if you are not a citizen. You are not allowed to serve on a jury if you have committed a crime. So you think they do all of this just to get more people on the voter rolls? No, they're doing it, to, yeah, well, because they will vote Democratic. Mm -hmm. but, but here's the funny part is the states that are doing it are already Democratic states. Well, I know, but they basically, here's the trick of this. Or they're trying to solidify the they're, they're trying, okay, they're basically, here's the thing is, Democrats are basically saying F you to Afro-Americans. Mm -hmm. Because they're not basically staying in line like good little boys and girls. Because there are things that they don't believe in, gay rights. They don't believe in, you know, we're, we... But gay. the Latins don't believe in that either. Huh? Well, I know, but they don't understand that. They said oh. that, okay, Latin, the Latins that are coming in are mostly socialists, so they'll vote to the left no matter what. But when it comes to gay rights, they're going to vote with the Republicans. Mm -hmm. When the issue comes up in California and they legalize all these people in California, what's going to happen is they're going to vote down gay rights in the state of California again. Because it was the Latinos that are legal and Afro-Americans that were the bulk of the people voting against gay rights the last two times. Mm -hmm. But um, they said the, the Afro-Americans are unhappy mm -hmm. with the Democratic Party, they're not getting the things they thought, and to the highest, their, their jobs are all going to people that are coming in here illegal. I mean, I can, uh, a billionaire said, I started working at a McDonald's 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. my, my children can't work at McDonald's today because they're replaced with people. Here's what he, like what he said. He uh, goes in and you, you go over to McDonald's, which actually I've had this problem. And you have to say, uh, dos, uh, you know, dos, you know, which is dos, dos, or cuatro, cinco. Um, mm -hmm. And then you say, uh, you want to count the money? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, you know, five, five dollars. You're having to use your hand signals and speak in their language to get them to, and they say, well, this, this doesn't happen. Oh, God, yes, it does happen. Mm -hmm. You will not believe the amount of McDonald's you can go into. They don't speak a word of English. And it's not just McDonald's either. Oh, you can go into, you can go into major, uh, major uh, retailers. retailers and major drug stores that do not speak, well, you say, uh, uh, you know, I need somebody who speaks English. Unless, not, well, not at speak least, English. At least with McDonald's, you can point to the sign and yeah, the number. But you can't. If you're in the drugstore, it's a little bit more difficult. Well, you're trying to order something, and you've got a pharmacist in the back that doesn't speak a damn word of English. So how do you know you're doing what you're supposed to do? I know do? you don't know what you're doing. They say, well, they'll, you, know, they'll, you know, they'll talk to you, you know, the El Copo, El Copo, you know, which is basically the man in charge. 
no, 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 no speak English. Wow. You know, uh, you know. So it's just the way it's working. So it's going to be a fun time this next year. As all these states try to circumnavigate the, it was the Constitution, yeah, they're going to lose. There's going to be so much litigation. But until next time, this is again. Okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybubbles. on the net or our news site, which is www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us. Follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over well, hundreds and hundreds of millions of links on the internet. Yes, and remember, come like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Oh, <laughs>